Hello, my name's Rosella Cottrell. Welcome to Craft Academy. Today, I would like to show you how to make this beautiful parchment flower. So, we're going to start off with four die cut flowers. We're going to do a little bit of embossing on those. I've got a one millimetre embossing tool and all I'm going to do is little swirls around the outside of my petal. I'm actually using a coloured parchment for this just to give a little bit of a tint to my flower. So I'm going to work my way all the way around just a little freehand swirl just to give a little bit of interest to my finished flower. Nearly there. A couple more to do. There we go. This is the last one. Okay, so we've now got four finished flowers. One I'm going to leave entirely on its own. The second one I'm actually going to cut into the centre and then I'm going to cut round in a little circle. And I'm going to remove that. I'm then going to snip off my first petal and I'm going to glue with my Perga glue that petal in place. The reason I've snipped off the top is so that we don't have so much parchment paper at the top. So we're going to leave that to dry. My second flower, I'm actually going to take out an entire petal this time. So let's take that out first. As before, we're going to just snip out a little freehand circle. This is only so that we don't have too much bulk within the middle. And again, I'm going to snip off that top that I don't need. And I'm going to attach my petal overlapping it. Just hold it for a moment to get that stick and we'll pop it to the side. Finally, on the last one, I'm actually going to snip out two petals. So we'll snip those out, pop them down, and again, let's take out the center, just a little circle. Let's also snip off the top of that petal, and then let's glue that. A little while to stick. Let's pop it to the side. Now, for these two, we're going to just roll them over and attach them. And it takes a little bit of fiddling because they're a little bit smaller. And so to help me, I've actually got two very tiny pegs. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on there. And I'm going to stick that on and I'm going to peg it shut so that it sticks. And the same with this small one roll it over, a little bit of glue and we'll peg it together. Try not to glue our peg to our parchment. Let's leave those just for a moment and then we can meanwhile be gluing our flower together. So lots of glue on this. It isn't going to show so we can put plenty on and just ensure a really good stick. So let's lay that down, and the next one. There we go, and the next one. We've got quite a lot of glue in there now, which is good. For my final two flowers, I'm just going to release my pegs. And I'm actually going to nibble just a little bit off the bottom there. And I'm going to pop some glue and put that in the centre. Again, this glue is going to dry clear so I can put plenty on, that's fine. Pop it in there. And my final one. Again, let's take just a little bit off. Plenty of glue. that in there, make it look nice and when it's dry it's going to look just like this one. 